In this video segment, we'll take a look at how cabinet hardware can be placed and how it can be customized for your cabinets. When you place a cabinet, the hardware is using the default from your template plan. You can easily customize the hardware through the cabinet dialog or directly from the library browser. Let's begin in the cabinet dialog. In the cabinet dialog, underneath the door and drawer, you'll find the options for the door handle and the drawer handle. For this base cabinet, let's take a look at the drawer handle. As I mentioned earlier, the style of the handle is using the default setting from your template plan. You can easily browse out to the library and change your hardware. The library will typically open up to the exact object you're using. You can browse down and find different hardware components and make the changes. Sometimes I prefer to do this outside of the dialog and spray these options on through the library browser, which I'll do once we close the dialog. You can adjust the position for horizontal and vertical. With the horizontal position, currently the default option is selected. One handle centered is also going to be the same as the default. You can also choose two handles and then change the in from edge in this case. If I were to change that to 8 inches, press the tab key, you'll see the preview update. Let me go ahead and set that back to the default. On the vertical position, same type of situation, it can be centered and you can also adjust the distance from the top and type in a value that you feel is appropriate for your cabinet. Go ahead and change that back as well. A slightly faster way to change your cabinet hardware is to browse into the library, find the hardware that you like, come over here, notice my icon changes to a replacement icon. You can then apply that onto your cabinet and see the preview. It's very easy to make the change in here to the different hardware options that you'd like to preview in here and all you need to do is browse into the library, find the hardware and spray it on there. Inside of the library you'll find a couple of different places where cabinet hardware can be located. Underneath of your core library, underneath the architectural components, you're going to find a hardware folder for cabinet hardware and then you'll find a few different folders that you can browse in and easily change the different hardware out and just apply it onto your cabinet. The other folder that I was first using is underneath the bonus catalog. Come down and you can then download the cabinet hardware from the 3D library. You can get additional content from our 3D library. In the library menu item, choose get additional content online and from your browser then download that library content and you'll have access to the additional cabinet hardware that can be applied to your cabinets. Let me zoom out and let's take a look at our full height cabinet over here. When you resize this cabinet, take a look at what happens to the hardware position. Notice how the lower door jumped in hardware position. It tries to stay at a relative position of about 36 inches for that hardware. Let's go in and take a look at the process to correct this. On the door and drawer panel, you'll notice that down from top is accurate for only the upper door, but since the program is trying to force this to be no higher than 36 inches, I'm going to click on this lower door panel, come over to the specify appliance door and drawer, and then the key to this setting is to remove the default option for that hardware and as you zoom in you'll notice that it is now correct without using that default setting that forces it to be about 36 inches. So I've made that change here and now the hardware when we close the dialog on that cabinet looks to be appropriate. Let me take a look at one more condition for the hardware. The cabinet box on this side of the cook range looks pretty good. The cabinet box on the other side of the cook range has hardware that's pretty large for that face item. Let me show you the process to make the change on the face item very similar to the full height cabinet. On the door and drawer panel, the door hardware currently is using the default for both the upper and the lower door panels. I'm going to click on the upper door panel that I want the smaller hardware on. Use the same option for the specify appliance, door, and drawer. For the door hardware, I'm going to open the library, browse to a pole that is more appropriate size for the face item. Once that's applied, you'll see the preview update. You can resize and rotate hardware from the library per face item. Use the edit button and you can define the hardware width, depth, and height. Down below is a rotate option. 
Let me cancel that change and close these dialogs. You can see that change and that's how you can use different sized hardware for face items that may vary in size. Now the final piece of hardware that you can use for your cabinets are hinges. For this style of cabinet you may not be able to see the exposed hinges. If you have a style of cabinet that you want exposed hinges you can come in here very much like the hardware for the door. You can go out to the library, you can browse, you can specify the sizing for your hinges. These can also be sprayed from the library browser itself and that's how you can control the hardware for your hinges. To learn more about the cabinet hardware, please refer to the built-in help system and also our available knowledge base articles. Thanks for watching the video.